Hey Guitar Champion, what's going on? Justin Hombach here, back from my practice cave and welcome to this episode where I'm going to take a look at this Paul Gilbert lick you've just heard in the beginning of this video. So the community has decided that I'm going to take a deeper look into the playing of Paul Gilbert this month. Which is a lot of fun for me because Paul is one of my biggest influences for a long time now and I love his playing, I love his guitar, especially this PGM micro guitar, yeah! And I'm really looking forward to relearn some of my favorite Paul Gilbert licks and, well, let's see, maybe to explore and learn some new licks from him. And of course, I'm really excited to teach those licks to you guys. In the end, I'm going to put all those Paul Gilbert licks into one big etude, where we're going to train all of those licks we are learning on this channel and to summon your inner Paul Gilbert, yeah! So don't miss the other videos. You only have to subscribe to this channel to see all the Paul Gilbert videos that are coming in the future. And so for this link, don't forget to download the tabs, the free tabs. I put a link in the description box where you can download them. And first I'm going to play this link slow and then I'm going to dive right into the lesson. So see you there. Have a good time practicing this link. Cheers! Okay, the first part of this lick goes like this. And the sequence we are playing here is a combination out of two patterns. The first pattern is this one. And the second one is this one. All in triplet notes, tri 16 note triplets. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So um, we are playing this sequence, um, the A minor scale down. We're starting on the 17th fret on the E string, which is the A. Playing the whole sequence, and then we're starting on the uh, 17th fret of the B string, which is the E. Everything again. The slant I'm using in my right hand is most of the time downward pick slant. Until that point where we're going to play the upper string for the second time in that phrase and we're shifting direct to the lower string. In this time, in this case from the E string to the B string. There we have inside picking and for inside picking I highly recommend downward, uh, upward pick slanting. Sorry. So we have down, up and then again I'm moving to downward pick slanting. Down, up, down, up. And the second part of this lick is the upcoming run. This is just a simple three note string run, where we're only playing two strings, and then on the second string we are shifting to the next position. So we're starting on the 12th fret from the A string, the A, playing 12, 14, 15, 12, 14, 15 on the B string, then we're shifting to the next position, which is 15, uh, 14, 15, 17, going to 14, 16, 17 on the G string, shifting to the next position. 16, 17, 19, 17, 18, 9, uh, 20, and then next position, uh, we, here we have 18, 20, 20 second, and uh, 19, 20, 20 second, bending to the 24th fret, the E. For the second leg I only have downward pick center, because we never have inside picking when we're changing from one string to the other, we always get outside picking. Sorry. 